A classified book of 1965 predicts modern day pole shift and Earth had many pole shifts in the in the past and we're going to take a look at them, the dates and uh, very often it happened. As popular wisdom says, there's nothing new under the moon and everything, well, is new is well forgotten, old. And now following this wonderful rule, conspiracy theorists have dug up a book published in 1965 it talks in detail about the pole shift, its cause, and the time of the next one. And as the author of uh, the video says, forbidden book about the end of the world, confiscated by CIA, it's published in 1965, was withdrawn from sale and classified by the CIA, but only recently posted it on the website of Declassified Documents, on the CIA website. Only 50 pages of the, books were pu the book were, pu were published and about 150 more remained in the main state secret of America where the world behind the scenes compares its, uh, you know, just, just doesn't want to release the truth. Now the story of course turned out to be interesting and surprising, but in reality everything is a slightly different since it turns modern geology upside down, it allows us to understand when the poles will shift and why. Thomas Chan, Chan in his, is his pseudonym, was an engineer at McDonnell Douglas who worked on anti-gravity issued, magnetic field and missile guiding systems. Naturally, such a person was provided a high level security clearance by the CIA and his little book was also classified. Dr. Chan was extremely fond of making quick notes of ideas that came to his head, drawing doodles everywhere, including on his refrigerator. He also drew something in the margins of one of the copies of his creation. So the men in black seized this book and placed it in a safe so that no one else would see the scribbles of the great engineer. And the remaining copies of the book are freely available in every sufficiently large library. And this, this is what is written there. He talks about, he shows a cross-section of the Earth, of course. Um, the inner core, 860 miles, um, then 1,300 miles, and then 1,800 miles in the crust. Now, it says that the stories of geologists about the mantle being liquid are the delusions of weak-minded people who understand very little about electric forces. Dr. Chan, as a secret engineer at McDonnell Douglas, who worked on these fields in anti-gravity, understood much more about the topic, and according to him, the earth inside is quite solid, only the core is liquid. This hardness is ensured by a special structure of magnetic and electric fields, which can be arranged in an experiment. They turn the mantle into a huge crystal, and if the mantle were liquid, then the lithosphere would spin on the mantle like on a bearing. However, once every 500 or even 5,000 years, the structure of the magnetic fields of the core is disrupted. And if during normal operation, these fields play the role of reinforcement, then this reinforcement disappears in some places. This is especially true for the outermost layer of the mantle, which is farthest from the core and its fields. At this glorious moment when the magnetic fields are disrupted and the mantle directly below the lithosphere becomes liquid, like magma flowing from a volcano, the lithosphere loses connection with the main mass of the planet and begins to slide on its under uh, the influence sli slide on it under the influence of central future forces. And this happens because there is never mass balance on the planet. After each displacement of the lithosphere, Water begins to freeze at the new poles, and the crustal shift seems to solve this, in, this balancing problem. New poles come to the equator, the ice there melts, and for some time the balance is restored. There's no such theory in official geology, but it seems to us that Chan understood much more about electricity than many today. Most likely everything as is Chan writes, and is uh, so it is. In Dr. Chan's book from 1965, there are indeed 50 pages. The CIA in this regard speaks only the truth, but not the whole truth. 
1993, in his declining years, Dr. Chan decided to write a sequel to the book. And when the continuation, and with the continuation, there was just secrets. The agents took something from there because the engineer talked too much about his work at McDonnell Douglas, about anti-gravity and the aliens who use this technology. However, something remains in the updated book. As Dr. Chan writes in 1993, everything has gone wrong with the planet's magnetic field, and the magnetic poles are moving at a speed of about 10 kilometers per year, while well, now this speed is about 50 kilometers per year, so it's going quite fast, as we can understand. That's a tremendous, that's just 30 miles a year. Um, according to the engineer, 10 kilometers a year will not end the matter. The movement of the poles will significantly accelerate. And at one fine moment, the planet's magnetic system will weaken so much that the thin layer of the surface mantle directly under the lithosphere will become liquid for several tens of hours. Can you imagine? It will lose its reinforcing fields and then the lithosphere will shift. In 1993, Dr. Chan assumed that magnetic fields would weaken enough for a shift to occur around the year 2000. So we're already past 2000. He was wrong about this, but what is 20 years in geological terms? There are microseconds. These are microseconds. He was not mistaken in the main thing that the field reinforcement of the mantle will weaken and now a shift of the lithosphere can happen any day. Just one good solar flare is enough to finish off the Earth's magnetic system. Why did they need to redact this information? Because we're not supposed to know our real history. We don't have to know the reality of anything because that would give us knowledge and power. We don't have to know that we live in a plasma universe which is something Thomas also talks about in his book. And after the book was declassified by the CIA, all of its most important parts were removed. The story of Adam and Eve talks about the theories of lost time and falsification of history and suggests that there were many technologically advanced alien civilizations before us, as the Egyptians knew. There is overwhelming evidence that we are in the sixth advanced civilization to exist on Earth, on this Earth, destroyed by disaster every time. When this happens, the mantle that holds our land in its current position turns to jelly, causing the land to move 90 degrees with the water on the land remains, while the water on the land remains in place. Oh my God. <laughs> causing the land to move 90 degrees while the water on the land remains in place. It's like dropping an object into a glass of water and then spinning the glass in a circle. The water stays in place while the world moves around it. Oh, man, that's amazing. So the world as we know it is erased in a few days, submerged in the ocean for 40 days. This is described in the tale of, the, uh, tale of Gilgamesh or Noah in the, in the Ark. Until the poles complete their shift, after which the North Pole becomes South Pole and vice versa. And we believe the rest of the story, which has been edited, is about survivors forced to live in caves and resort to cannibalism to survive. This is why the Aztecs and North American Indians tell stories of a white man who visited them, gave them seeds to grow, and taught them how to harvest. We also believe that those in power knew this and want to keep it a secret, knowing full well that otherwise they may have mass unrest and will not be able to keep their uh, uh, subjects obedient. And the book is definitely an interesting read uh, and there's a link to the unedited version of the book. Now this is on Solask. Now concer concerning Wikipedia's list of geomagnetic reversals, the following is a list of geomagnetic reversals showing the ages of the beginning and end of each period normally polarity, where the polarity matches the current direction, uh, the source for the last eight, eight, 83 million years. Um, and I'll leave a link below for you for this. Um, 83 million years from uh, 118 million years to 83 million years. Then after 83 million years was 79 million years. After that was 73 million years. And again, 73 million years. 71 million years, 68.7 million years, 67.6 million years, 
64.7 million years basically goes every few million years let's go to um, uh, from 7 million years 7.17 million years 7 million years 6.5 million years 6.1 million years 5.2 million years 4.8 4.6 4.2 3.8 3.2 3.0 2.1 1.9 1.07 and the last one was 780,000 years ago so you can understand how many hundreds of pole shifts we've had and of course earth changes please leave your comments and thank you for your support Please support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.